Chapter 1, Lesson 2, Ratios. A ratio is a comparison of two quantities by division. There are three ways to write a ratio. For example, if we have the ratio 1 to 3, we could write 1 to 3. We could write it using a colon, 1 to 3. Or we can write it using a fraction, 1 to 3. Example 1. Compare the number of green buttons to yellow buttons and write as a ratio in simplest form. So there are three green buttons and six yellow buttons. So we could write this as three to six, three over six, or three to six. But now we want to simplify. We have to divide the numerator and denominator by three and we get one half. This means for every one green button, there are two yellow buttons. Try this one yourself to check for understanding. Example 2. In a survey, several people were asked, what is their favorite flavor of ice cream? Write the ratio that compares the number of people who chose strawberry to the total number of people. So we want to compare the number of people who chose strawberry, which is 5, to the total number of people. So we need to add up all the number of people that were surveyed. So we get 7 plus 10 is 17, 17 plus 5 is 22, and 22 plus 8 more is 30. So there are 5 people who chose strawberry ice cream out of 30 people surveyed. Now we can simplify by dividing by 5. This gives us 1 out of 6. 1 6 people chose strawberry to the total number of people surveyed. Example 3. Today's sales at Fred's Donut Shop were recorded. Write the ratio that compares the number of people who chose a glazed donut to the total number of donuts sold, then explain its meaning. So the number of people who chose glazed donuts was 7, and we want to compare that to the total number of donuts sold. So to find the total number, we need to add up all the donuts sold. So first we have 6 plus 13, which gives us 19. Then we have to add 19 plus 9, which gives us 28 and then 28 plus 7, which gives us a total of 35 donuts sold. So 7 donuts were glazed out of 35 total. We can simplify this by dividing by 7. This gives us 1 out of 5, which means for every 1 glazed donut sold, there were 5 donuts sold in total. Pause the video here to try this yourself and check for understanding. Example 4. Mr. Smith wants to split his 28 students into two groups so that the ratio is 3 to 4. How would he split his class up? So if we have the ratio 3 to 4, this could be simplified. So if we unsimplify it, we could see what other groups we can make that are equal to a ratio of 3 to 4. So we can have 6 to 8. We can have 9 to 12. 
we can have 12 to 16. We can have 15 to 20. So now if we stop here, all of these fractions are equal to 3 fourths because we did times 2, times 3, times 4, times 5, times 2, times 3, times 4, times 5. And if we were to simplify any of these, they would all equal 3 fourths. So if we split up the student into a group of 6 and 8, that would only equal 14 students in total. And he has 28 students, so that wouldn't work. If we split up the students into a group of 9 and 12, that would be a ratio of 3 to 4, but that would only be 21 students, so that doesn't work. If we split up the students into a group of 12 and a group of 16, that would be 28 students, and this is equal to the ratio 3 fourths. So this one would work, so he would split his students up into a group of 12 and a group of 16 so that their ratio of 3 to 4.